So the latest box has just been introduced into Duel Links, and it contains a whole bunch of archetypes. We've got your Red Eyes, we've got your Bujin, your Amazement, we've got a bit of Witchcrafter stuff, some Fire Fist stuff, and of course, who could forget, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine on that one, but we're not actually here to play any of those art types today. Instead, we're here to play what is probably the most promising art type from the entire box. And I'm definitely not making this video just to flex on you losers that didn't manage to pull a Prismatic Master Sun Mao. So here's today's deck list. Now just a reminder before getting to the deck list, if you guys are enjoying today's video and want to see more content just like this in the future, especially if you're a returning viewer, so apparently about 35% of you are watching this or even subscribed to the channel, meaning 65% of you haven't even subscribed yet. So if you guys are enjoying this kind of content or see more deck lists from me in the future or more videos from me in the future, then do a like on this video and consider subscribing to the channel down below. Also just a reminder, as there is a brand new box, I have a whole bunch of videos planned around it, including the amazement stuff, I've got red eyes planned, Maybe even select using the Witchcrafter and using the Arclight card. Plenty of things planned, so if you want to see any of those deck lists, remember to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's jump into this deck list. Alright, so today's deck list is going to be your Ancient Warriors, an art type of Beast Warriors that likes to use a bunch of face-up continuous spell and trap cards. It's basically Fire Fist, if Fire Fist wasn't shit. So this art type you even notice is using a bunch of the Fire Fist cards, it's just a better version of Fire Fist. Alright, there's obviously a bunch of new cards in here, so I'll try to give you a brief rundown of the cards in here without keeping you here too long. So starting off, we have your Masterful Sun Mao. This card's your main searcher in the deck list. It can send cards from your field or your hand to the graveyard to search for your other Ancient Warrior cards. And also, if another Ancient Warrior monster effect is activated, you can target one monster your opponent controls and just return it to hand. Then we have your Fantastic Going Second card, your Ancient Warrior's Loyal One Yun. This card, if you control, if your opponent controls a monster and you control nothing, you can special summon this thing. And if your opponent controls more monsters than you, you can just pop one card your opponent controls, or one of your opponent's monsters. Alright, then we have your extender. You'll be using this as part of your combo most of the time. If you have two ancient warrior monsters on the field, you can special summon this thing from your hand. Alright, then we have your fearsome Zhang Yun. This thing is a, an insane hand trap. If your opponent swings into you, or if you swing into your opponent with an ancient warrior monster, you can reduce your opponent's monster by 1000 attack, Special summon this thing, and if ever you destroy one of your opponent's cards, you can then pop an additional one of your opponent's cards. And this thing protects all your monsters from being destroyed by battle. An insane hand trap, you'll be seeing this quite a bit. Alright, next up we have your Graceful Zong Gong. This card can target your continuous spells and swap them out for a copy of your Ancient Warrior Saga, which is a fantastic card, you'll be seeing that later on. And its other effect is if an Ancient Warrior monster uses its effect, you can target one of your opponent's monsters and negate its effects. Not, the, not Obviously not the greatest negate, as you can't use it in response to like your opponent's special summon effect or just their normal summon effect or anything like that, but it does come up occasionally, so do keep it in mind. Alright, then we have your ingenious Zhihuj Kong. <laughs> Basically this thing, if it's added to your hand, you can special summon it, so it's already a great extender, and on top of that, if you have one of these face up, you can use this thing as a spell and trap card negate by sending this thing to the graveyard, so fantastic card. Speaking of this thing, this is your Ancient Warrior Saga 3 Visits. During your main phase, if you normal special summon an Ancient Warrior monster, you can target one of those monsters, add one Ancient Warrior monster with a different name from your deck to your hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon an Ancient Warrior monster from your hand. So a great card that you can use in combination with either of these two effects to send things to the graveyard. Send this thing to the graveyard, summon out big boss monsters from your hand, and of course this thing can obviously search for those big, monst big boss monsters if you need them. Alright. Moving on to the extra deck, there is two new cards in here, starting off with your Ancient Warrior Oath, Double Dragon Lords. This requires two Beast Warrior Monsters, including a Wind Ancient Warrior Monster. Very important to note, it requires a Wind, because most of your low level ones happen to be Water, so you're probably going to have to use this thing most of the time as an extender, to then have a monster on the field to go into this monster. Alright, when this thing is summoned, it searches for an Ancient Warrior from your deck, which is fantastic, because it allows you to search for this thing to summon itself to have a spell and trap card negate when you need it. Also, obviously, it gives you a 500 attack boost to all your Ancient Warrior monsters, and you can send one card as a quick effect from your hand or field to the graveyard to target one face-up card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. So, a very good disruption on this thing, gives you a stat boost to all your monsters, and even gives you a search as well. Absolutely insane card. 
and the final new addition to this deck list is going to be your Bajinki. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this thing. <laughs> Two monsters with the same level. Cannot be used as link material. This thing, if it is Link Summoned, you can spell summon two monsters with the same level, one from your hand and one from your graveyard, but negate their effects, and immediately after they do, after it resolves, exceed summon one exceeds monster using only those two monsters. If an exceeds monster this card points to activate its effect by detaching a material, you can target one spell or trap card your opponent controls and destroy it. This thing is actually a really strong card you'll be seeing in a lot of Xyz decks from now on, because basically, if you're going to go for an Xyz summon, but you notice you have another material in your hand you can basically do the Xyz summon with, you'll Xyz sum or you'll link summon to this thing first, summon out one of those monsters from the graveyard, summon a monster from your hand, those two cards then go into an Xyz monster, and you've now given yourself an extra stat boost by just having an extra 1500 attack for a link monster on the field, and you've got your Xyz monster, which can then also destroy your opponent's back row as well, so it's just a huge boost to just any Xyz deck, which this thing is an Xyz deck sometimes, but you won't see it too often this art type, as it's not sort of built for it, but it does come occasionally, as you'll see during the replays. And last but not least, we of course have the brand new skill, your Spell Swap Fire Formation Tenki, which is a very simple skill, if you open a Fire Formation card, you can toss it into the deck list and instead search for a Fire Formation Tenki instead, which is fantastic at just completely making sure this deck list cannot brick, as if you open one of these, you can just turn it into a Tenki instead. If you open multiple of these, you can just turn one into a Tenki. If you don't open a normal summon, but you open one of these, toss it into your deck list, grab a Tenki, activate it, search for a normal summon. So this just makes sure you cannot brick with this deck list, but you shouldn't have to use it all that often as this deck list doesn't really brick all that often, at least from my experience. And without further ado, that's basically it for the deck list. So let's jump into the gameplay showcasing what this deck list can do. All right, let's jump into these replays. So admittedly, I haven't been playing much Speed Duel this month, meaning I'm currently only in Platinum. I've been playing a lot of Rush Duel thanks to the Rush Duel Festival and getting the gems from that. So unfortunately, I was on the Platinum for these replays, which makes it really hard to judge just how good this deck list is. It felt really strong to me, but at the same time, I'm only playing in Platinum against some rather average deck lists and rather average players, so it's really hard to judge. I felt like every single game that I ended up losing was because of me misplaying or me doing something rather silly, like trying to go for some highlight reel replay rather than just going for the guaranteed lethal or something. It was just like, I don't know, this deck list felt really goddamn good, and the hands are a really good player. I'm sure it's a top tier deck list, but it's hard for me to judge that when I'm playing against some shitty sort of players. So take these replays with a grain of salt, but hopefully they should give you a good understanding of just what this deck list could do. And yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoy them. All right. So starting off using our Tenki, searching for a copy of our uh, Zonggong or Zolgong. <laughs> These, these names are going to be really hard to uh, pronounce, by the way. I'm going to butcher the shit out of these. All right, activating our three visits. So now when I normal summon, I get a search. Now the interesting thing about this card is it's very similar to how the old Black Queen card, the fe uh, Feather or whatever the hell it was called, that when you normal summon your Black Queen, it gets a search, but it relies on having your monster remain on the field. So if your opponent uses a Book of Moon or something to flip this thing face down, you won't get your search from this card. So keep that in mind. It can be uh, disrupted fairly easily. All right. Alright, moving my spell card to then search for another copy of it. This triggers a spell card to special summon. I can now use my Sun... What's his name? Sun Mao? To then discard to search. Alright, special summoning because I have two dudes on the field. This allows me to go into my Link Monster, my Double Dragon Lords. You can now search for a copy of your Z-Huge Gong. <laughs> special summon itself to the field. Alright. And this is a pretty insane infield, by the way, because we've got a negate for any spell and trap card my opponent tries to use. We have a double bounce, because we have a bounce from this card, and then once either of these effects have gone off, this thing's effect triggers the bounce again. So two bounces and a negate. So a fairly insane infield for a dual links infield. Alright, opponent's of course playing salad, so we sort of let our, let our opponent do whatever he wants until he gets to a fairly sizable infield, and then we'll remove it all. This guy's apparently playing Dark Hole, which is a little bit sketch, but should be fine. Silent Mining, I choose to negate this. Maybe I could have saved this negate, because I do know my opponent was playing Dark Hole type stuff, so maybe I should have saved it in case my opponent had a Dark Hole. I don't know. Alright, he's going to summon his Gazelle. Still not going to do anything. Don't really care too much. Just waiting for my opponent to try to summon some stuff. Of course, because I sent the, this card to the graveyard, I can now special summon the big dude from the hand. The one Yun. <laughs> Come on, I'm butchering these names so badly.
All right, comes out, comes the Sunlight Wolf. We're going to be bouncing the Sunlight Wolf to hand, triggering the Sun Moon to then return a card to hand. All right. And our opponent just conceded from there. It's not a bad first game showing off just everything this deck can do going first. Going second feels really weird with this deck because I feel like if you're not, you have to play a couple of copies of the special summon card to help going second, the one that can summon if your opponent's the only one wants on the field. But that makes it really bad going first if you're really bricky, so you can only play a couple of them. But I'm also playing three copies of the double summon in this deck list, which makes it really easy to just double summon so you can play through some back row that way. So, felt pretty good. That was pretty good going first and pretty good going second, which is gives me high hopes for this deck list in a, to be a top tier list. Alright, so it's a BLS player. Now this guy, unfortunately, he didn't actually place any back row, so unfortunately for him, he was uh, not long for this world. <laughs> Time for an ass blasting. Alright, summon, summon, or oh, activate, activate. So now I can summon twice. Summon my Z Huge Gong. Or Z Huge Gong. <laughs> it's probably just Zao Gong, but I find it more funny to pronounce the Z weirdly. Anyway, bouncing one card to hand, swapping the card over. Oh, sorry, negating a card. Then we're going to exceed summon. Oh, sorry, link summon. God, I'm messing up all, all over today. Special summon. Searching for a card from my deck list. Bouncing his monster. Because I bounced using the spell card, descending out to the graveyard, I can special summon as well. And we have a full field to smack my opponent in the face with. Ingenious is a huge gong. Okay. Alright, on to replay number three. God, I hope yellow uh, other archetypes in this box didn't have hard names to pronounce. I've already forgotten. This video is gonna have too many too many butchering of names. It's gonna trigger the shit out of the comment section. Holy. <laughs> Especially if anyone knows the language, they're gonna be real triggered. Alright. Tanky searching, of course, for my prismatic Sun Mao. Activating my continuous spell, normal summoning, getting a search. Can now swap over, which gives me a special summon as well. I'm so glad this thing can search for copies, the same copy of the same card, because I only really want to play this card, I don't really like the other ones. Alright, Link Summon, Search, Special, and Passing the Turn. So if you happen to open one of the cards for this little combo, I'm showing you basically in every single duel at the moment, if you happen to open all the cards for it just in your opening hand, or just a couple of cards for it, you can search for this card instead, which is a very, very good hand trap. It's really good. Your opponent swings into you, you're going to reduce their attack, and you'll see it in a bunch of the other replays, in a special summon itself. I don't think you see it in this one, but you'll see it in other replays. So that's generally why you're running this card, because it's a fantastic hand trap you can search for if you open, like, any of the other pieces in here, so you don't need to search for them. Alright, unfortunately I can't bounce this, because if I do, I will only get one bounce this turn, and he'll just Gandora on my ass. So we're going to wait for Gandora, because we can't do anything else. Alright, tries to use Return, we're going to negate that. Three visits, special summon. Goes for Gandora, going to bounce that monster, triggering the summon now, bouncing the other one. Now even if he does summon an Orcus monster, he's only got one monster on the field, so he can't do anything with it, and he's gone. Alright, Mr. Mr. Dark over here. Let's see what this guy was playing. This was a... Oh, this is the DD guy. This guy's played more of a fusion variant of DD. He wasn't even doing that many, that much pendulum stuff. He didn't have the pendulum skill active, so... I don't know what's going on there. Alright, Tensu, Tenki. Strike and Summon. Activate, sending the card to the graveyard from the field, searching for my other guy. Sending again, grabbing our spell card. Now we can special summon Valiant Z Z Zhang D. Zhang D's nuts. Searching for the Zhang Yuan. Summoning the Dragon Lords. Special summoning. And probably shouldn't have put this card in this zone because obviously it's blocking the Link Arrow, but it's whatever, who cares. Alright, summoning his Genghis. Not going to remove it yet, because I want to use save the, save the bounce for the perfect moment, so I can bounce two cards. And two cards actually want to bounce. 
just gonna let him play the game. Decide I want to bounce this um, spell card, because if I do so, obviously he doesn't get the effect of it. And I can bounce this thing at the same time. Alright, use the gate, slime. You can only use this thing once per turn, so you can't even use it. Tries to swing in, hand trap him. Tries to swing to my other monster, which is actually protected from being destroyed by battle, thanks to this thing as well, so... This card's actually so goddamn insane. It stops your monsters being killed by battle, and it makes it so that they, your opponent's monster lose a thousand attacks, so... And has another effect as well, where it gets to destroy your, your opponent's stuff, which is also pretty insane. Just overall great card. I was thinking about maybe running two of this card, but... It's kind of hard to find space if you want to keep this deck to like 20 cards, which... I feel like it can be. And if you can keep a deck to 20 cards, generally you probably should, so... Alright. I just noticed that my, my account name is still Stacy's mom. Hopefully hopefully some people out there recognize all that so that's from a song. It was completely confused as to who the fuck Stacy is. <laughs> anyway. Alright, this is up against an Infernoid player doing some weird stuff. Starting off with a Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. This is a typical Platinum deck list right here. Alright, summoning. Searching for my my boy, Mr. Zeng D's nuts. Alright, searching again. Haven't used my second summon yet. Gonna special summon that thanks to being searched for. And upon using an effect, this thing's effect now triggers to target this. This will now bait out whatever one of these cards negate effects. Oh sorry, I was trying to bounce it, not negate it. Alright, special summon. Now we're gonna negate it. Doesn't really matter too much because I'm gonna bounce it in a second anyway. Dragon Lord's searching for uh Guan Guan Yun or Wan Yun. Bouncing it. Admittedly, I completely forgot about this bacon saver. There was probably some sort of lethal I could have gone for here, but anyway. <laughs> what does it matter? Grant tries to summon something, we're just gonna bounce that shit. Get out of here. Tanky searching for my son. Give me another search for the hand trap, and hit him in the face. <laughs> I want to say, I probably shouldn't even save this replay, it was a pretty shitty one. In hindsight, but what can you do? Alright, here we up to, up to Lewis, I think? I think this was Dark Magician, I think, if I remember. Yeah, I, should have got, I actually could have had some really sick um, win streaks with this decklist, but I just kept doing really stupid things. I was misplaying slightly. There's definitely a decklist I think will take a little bit of practice to um, get the hang of it. Alright, three visits, getting a search, getting my Z Huge Kong. Double summon, sun from hand. Basically, I made sure that I was going to summon this thing as um, early as possible, just so I had a negate on field. So now if he tries to use any of this back row, I can negate it just whenever I feel like. Unfortunately, I did mess up a little bit though. I'd sequ sequence this pretty badly, because obviously you need to use a, a wind monster for this thing summon. It requires a wind monster specifically, so I couldn't keep this card on the field. I probably could have sequenced this better where I could have had another wind monster on the field in some way and kept this thing on the field. I don't know. I think I played this slightly badly, but it's fine. Whatever. Alright, Dragon Lord searching for Sun Mao. Bouncing his monster. To be fair, if he did chain some, some one of his back row cards and it was actually slain to hit this thing, this thing can be just chained in response. Popping this thing to return that card to the hand, and then I would have got a special summon from hand anyway. So I don't think there's any, any particular danger. It's just. Yeah, I think I didn't play this perfectly. Alright. Swinging in, Sunny and Boss Monster. He has to use the card in hand. We don't really care. We can now beat over that as well. And hit him in the face. Yeah, I think I could have played this duel better, but it still is a pretty nice showcase, especially at the hand trap. A lot of beefy boys on that field. Alright. JT or. Jai, to have you pronounce this guy's name. Lay in blue eyes. Another very typical platinum deck list. Not that blue eyes is particularly bad with the new skill, but for some reason there is a lot of them in platinum. 
Had some guy playing Weaver with blue eyes earlier as well, for some reason. Anyway. Alright, three visits, gonna be searching, grabbing my dude. Summon him, swap over, getting a search. I think summoning Dragon Lords. Grab my boy, summoning him. And to add the other card. And the good thing about having two of these on the field is that if your opponent MST is one of them, you don't have to like force and negate or something, you just don't care about it because you got the other one, so it doesn't stop your opponent. If your opponent does MST one, you're still gonna have the negate still set up. Because obviously this guy needs a target to negate with. Alright, Lightning Vortex. Thankfully, we have got a negate for that. He's going to Monster Reborn, summoning out the dude. I'm now going to target it to bounce it. I was hoping here that he would activate this thing's effect to swap it over for a Blue Eyes, and then in the, in the chain that follows, once the chain resolves, another chain would start with this dude, who would then bounce the second Blue Eyes. Unfortunately, that's not what he did at all, because he didn't even have a Blue Eyes in hand yet. And now he uses Melody, and now he has one. And now my entire field is about to go boom. Special summons, special summons, pops one, goes for his fusion, pops both. But we top deck a tanky, which is absolutely fantastic. And we haven't even used the skill yet, by the way. You'll notice in most of these replays, I didn't actually use the skill very often. I did use it in some other games, so it does come up, especially considering if you want tanky, especially in a situation like this, you can just get rid of the other fire formation card search tanky. So I do recommend still using this skill, despite me not actually showcasing it much in this video. But, yeah. Being able to search tanky whenever you want is pretty good. So getting rid of tanky, grabbing this dude, special summoning. He's now going to bounce. That makes my double dragon lords. Searching my dude, can't do anything with him, he's just follow up for the following turn, and he my opponent in the face. Opponent still drew nothing, so we're still good to just do whatever we like. I think our opponent just concedes here. Alright, final replay. Yeah, I just realised I actually didn't, don't think I used the skill once in any of these replays. It does get used though, it's not like the skill is a bad skill, and I still 100% recommend using this skill over any other skill. Especially considering sometimes you'll just open hands of like multiple of the same fire formation card and you just don't want you opening two of this card just feels so bad. Just discard it for a, a tanky, feels way better. <laughs> Actually has a playable hand then. It's mostly just a brick fixer, but this deck doesn't actually brick that often. So you can see you generally have like two good good normal summons. Alright, it's been my two continuous, or oh, three continuous spells are active right now. Normal summon. As an additional summon. Getting a search. Second summon. Searching my Zhang Yun, or Zhang Wan. Notice this thing on the field is currently untargetable, so how can we deal with that? Well, we just had to search for our hand trap, reduce its attack, and beat the shit out of it. Alright. It goes to some fancy plays here. Probably didn't need to do this, but uh, it looks fancy, so. Gonna summon out my Bujin. Bujin going to be summoning out my two monsters to see summon straight into a copy of my Tiger King. Carry my Fire Fist spell that I got rid of. Go to battle, special summon. Hit my opponent in the face, and hit my opponent in the face. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's replays, hope you guys enjoyed them. Remember, I have a whole bunch of videos still coming out based around the latest box, so if you want to see any of that kind of stuff, remember to like, remember to subscribe, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, hope to see you in the next one. Laters. Hey big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.